All righty, here is uh, round two. So this is uh, 15 pounds of the Canadian swine. I had it cut in 1.5 pound bricks. Uh, beautiful, beautiful selection. This is gonna be my slurry, brown sugar, kosher, uh, salt, uh, a little bit of a special barbecue sauce. Of course, gotta have some Booker's bourbon, pink salt, and maple syrup. Alrighty, well, we're gonna start putting this baby together so that it's all set up to have on the holidays. Here we are, we're back with uh, the second edition of the Canadian Swine Bacon. We're gonna go with, uh, again, brown sugar, an U1 barbecue sauce marinade, kosher, pink salt number one. We're gonna try Booker's bourbon with this one. And of course, our uh, maple syrup. So you can see the meat here. It's a beautiful cut. Uh, it's about 15 pounds of uh, top choice Canadian swine uh, pork belly. And we're gonna get going and begin to make the slurry and get this on here, sit it for five days, and then smoke it, and it's gonna be awesome for the holidays. Here we go, we're gonna start mixing our slurry. So basically we got 15 pounds, so it's gonna be two, three, four, two, two per, uh, per five pounds, five, Six. Okay, cool. So now we're done with our pink song. Now we're gonna come to, we're gonna quarter cup times three. So basically about almost a cup of the kosher salt coming up. So right about there, because it's one quarter per five pounds. And we got 15 pounds. There we go. That looks good there. Alrighty. And then we gotta do the same thing with our Brown sugar, again, it's a quarter cup per five pounds. And we got 15 pounds here, so there we go. That's about right. That looks like about three quarters of a cup. Eh, it looks good to me. All right, so now that's that. And what else? Oh yeah, we gotta get, now start putting in our liquids. But before that, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna whisk all the, uh, salads together uh, to get it all mixed up and then I'll start putting the liquids in. Alrighty, we'll come back for the liquids after I finish whisking so that all of the salad gets mixed up nice and good. That's what you gotta do, get the salad mixed up nice and good first before you start adding your liquids. So we'll finish this up and then we'll come back with the liquids. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna start putting our liquids in. First we'll put in about three quarters cup of uh, maple syrup. Beautiful, looking good. Then we've got this nice little marinade, a really nice one here, of the uh, U1 spicy glaze sauce. So we'll put in about three quarters cup of that. There we go. That looks good like that. Oh, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be awesome. And then we gotta finish it off with nothing better than Booker's bourbon, and we'll put that in there. Oh yeah. You know, we'll put a full couple bookers in there. It just sort of makes everything go better, especially around the holiday season. So there we go. We've got everything in there, looking good. Come on, get that, all that in there. And now I'll uh, start mixing this up. And then after it's all mixed, we'll come back and I'll be spreading it on uh, the pork belly and then bagging it up and it'll sit for five days. Okay, we're back. I'm continuing to uh, Get the slurry together. I was just stirring it gently. Uh, the smell is incredible. It's just uh, simply incredible. So in just a second, I'll start. I think it's right, a little bit more. We'll get it nice and mixed up and then we're gonna start putting it on our pork belly. And uh, oh! It just doesn't get any better than this. Canadian choice pork belly, a Booker's bourbon slurry. 
it's just, uh, you know, you know, life is good. Life is good. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start putting it on. Okay, so we just put it on. Just all over. Yeah, yeah, it's just, get it on. Yeah, nothing fancy, just gotta get it on. Then we'll flip it over and get the fat side. This is the, the meat side here. And we'll get the, the, um, the, the fat side later when we flip them. That's, that's basically all you do. We're gonna get it on all of these. And I'll just, I'll just keep doing the rest of these. Get them all on. A little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah, and just, you know, there we go. And just spread them around, get going. And that's really the slurry. Once this is all done, we'll be bagging them up, put them in the fridge for about five days, and then uh, take them back out. And then uh, we'll pick up uh, where we left off there. So enjoy, and uh, very quickly. So we've got the meat just about completely slurry and I'll flip it over in a second but uh, you can see it's a nice slurry going there gotta get all this the curing salt on there it uh, it's just gonna be really tasty but you gotta get this all on and then it sits in it and we flip it I flip it every 12 hours for five days inside the freezer bag as it sits in the fridge. Alrighty, I think we got a good portion of it on there. There we go, getting it all on like that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Alrighty. Next section is just uh, putting it in the uh, freezer bags to get it ready to sit for five days. And then uh, we'll smoke it. Uh, we'll let it actually on the Six day, we take it out, rinse off all the, all the slurry, let it sit back in the fridge for another 24 hours. And uh, then after that, then we take it out and then we do the smoking. All right, now we've got uh, both sides covered. Let's see if I can give you a little zoom in on this, on what the meat looks like now. With the, with the full slurry on it. Now we're getting ready to put it in the, uh, Freezer bag, one gallon freezer bags. We'll do that next. This gets a little messy, but uh, I'll just do a couple bags so you can sort of get the flavor of how, how it's done. No real art to it. Gotta have my little hand towel. I, I don't like getting my hands all messy and not having something to, to, to wipe them on. So I just take one of these and I put it in. There's one. Grab another one, clean the hand. Remember, don't like, don't like messy fingers. And go like that, and just keep going. And we'll just keep lining them up, putting them in. And then the excess of the um, slurry, I'll just go ahead and take and just pour that into a uh, little bowl, then pour that into each individual bag so that we don't waste any of the slurry. Um, that we have here and get that one in there and that's that's basically it just keep repeating that and then it's going to go in the the uh, freeze the fridge not the freezer the fridge and i'll be flipping them every 12 hours for the next five days now we've got uh, all of the uh, pork belly in the respective uh, bags and so i'll line them up like this and that will give me the ability to take the remaining of the slurry and pour them in the bags so that we don't want to waste any of this great gray slurry that we made. So I'll just, I'll just do a couple so you can see, get the, get the gist of it. Nothing fancy, stir it up, get everything all mixed up. And then you just pour a little in this bag, pour a little in this bag. And you just keep repeating the process until you, you know, use up all your slurry. And, uh, and uh, when this is all done, then you're ready to put it in the fridge for your five days of curing. A little more there. Oh, that's, I'm gonna make sure I have a little for this one. 
this one. You know, I got one more left over here, but this is actually perfect. Uh, the last one's right here. Stir it up a little bit. There we go. Well, this one's got a little extra of the uh, pink salt, but that'll be good. We'll put look there. It won't get put at all there. This one didn't get as much as I thought it should have. We'll put a little more there. And we'll just put a little more here. You don't want to have a ton of the pink salt. You don't want it to be overly salty. So, oops, that one fell, but it'll be all right. Okay. A little messy there, but you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes life is messy. You just gotta roll with it and uh, adjust and uh, move on. Merry Christmas. Now for the, the finishing wrap up. Uh, I don't like messy fingers, so I keep a, a nice wet towel here. I like to wipe the bag off so that there's you know, no, no stuff on the outside. Just kind of, you know, I don't like messy fingers. So then we'll roll it, seal it like this so it's nice and sealed. And I start with the fat pad out. Oh, that's the white part over the fat. That way I know how when I'm turning it uh, every 12 hours, uh, they're all laying the same way and I turn them all the same way so I don't get confused. It's just a simple way to make sure you're flipping them all the same in the same direction. We'll do one more here. Again, I like to wipe off my, the bag. I don't like a messy bag when I put it in the fridge. I like a nice and neat. I got my wet towel here to keep my little fingies clean. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Okay, one more wrap and then we'll call the day. Seal that up. There we go. Fat pad up. And there we go. All right. Merry Christmas. I'll give you one little look. This is how it looks going in. You see, they're all individually in their uh, one gallon freezer bags and they'll go in, they'll sit like this in the fridge every 12 hours, I'll flip them all over, which basically how I do it is, before I go to work, I flip them over. When I come home from work, I flip them over. That, you know, is about 12 hours, that's, you know, flip them twice per day. Alrighty? Merry now Christmas. I'm just gonna take the rest of the slurry, scrape it off, get it off of each of these pans, and then I'm gonna pour it into the respective tin bags. I've got tin bags. It's uh, the bricks, the uh, uh, pork belly bricks are, are a pound and a half each of bacon. So I'll get this all in here and then this will get poured into the bags and I'll take it off this one, the, the second uh, one here as well. And that just gives more slurry, gives more for the curing with the pink salt, etc. And uh, we're almost done to uh, put Okay, it. here we go. We are uh, the bacon pork ribs. Has been aging for five days, flipped every 12 hours. Just a refresher of our ingredients. Of course, uh, our bookers, pink salt, maple syrup, our barbecue marinade, and our brown sugar. Okay, so now is where we uh, rinse off all of the bacon and then we're gonna let it sit for another day. So we take it and uh, just, you know, there's some nice cool water, rinse everything off nice and good like this, rinse it off. There's one, and then I'm gonna give you a little shot here and then rinse it off. And, uh, okay, that's number one, all rinsed off. Okay, here we go again now. We're gonna rinse off uh, our second. And again, we'll rinse this off. And then we'll let it sit to get the pellet cube. So here we go, rinsing it off. Number two, okay, we're gonna do a little shot of this and so rinse it off. Alrighty, and let that sit right there. Merry Christmas. Okay, here we go with uh, our third rinse off. Here we go, it's gonna be good. Five days of just uh, aging, and we'll rinse off number three. Here we go, got a look there and we rinse it off. All right, it's getting good. Here we go. We're gonna rinse off uh, one more of uh, the uh, bacon, and then we're gonna you know, put it away for a day, and then we'll be ready to smoke it. And uh, so here we go. Again, rinse everything off, and then sit for a day for the pellicle. 
And here you go. Yeah, I'm telling you. This is going to be some really, really good uh, bacon when we smoke it here. So, again, just want you to know that uh, tomorrow we will go ahead and uh, be smoking the bacon. And it's going to be delicious for the holidays. And I want to tell everyone out there, wish you a Merry Christmas. Be safe. And uh, if you qualify, be sure to get your COVID vaccine. Be safe out there. Okay, here we go. All the meat's been uh, rinsed off. Here we go. I mean, you got to look at that. That is a great, great slice of bacon, Booker's, bourbon, Canadian prime choice bacon. Here we go. It's going to be awesome. It's going to sit for a day. The pellicule will develop. And then we're going to smoke it on the uh, big green egg smoker. And it's going to be delicious for the holidays. Can't wait. All right, be safe out there, get your COVID vaccine, and Merry Christmas. Okay, here we are. We're at the uh, final stage. We're, this is the uh, big, big green egg. We're going to smoke the bacon. You can see just the, the wood and the smoke. It's bellowing out. It's, it's just about there. Uh, and so at this point, uh, we're going to go get the meat, get it set up, uh, get the thermometers for the internal, external temps for the uh, uh, bacon that we're going to be smoking. We're going to use an apple wood to smoke the uh, bacon with. The Bacon Booker's Bourbon. The BBB. Alrighty, be back in a flash. Okay, we're back now. Uh, we got the smoker where we want it to be. Uh, you have a water pan right here. And this serves to keep the humidity high inside the smoker while you're smoking the bacon. Now, I'm going to open up the lid. You have to be very careful here because I don't know if you ever saw the movie Backdraft. Uh, if there's a rush of uh, air that goes in, you can have a, a backdraft of flame. So first you open up, you bleed a little bit, then open slowly, open slowly, open slowly. There's the smoke, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now, the next thing, here's the ceramic plate that in which you put in so that it creates an indirect heat for the smoking of the bacon. Next, on top of the ceramic plate goes this water pan. Following the grate, and we'll do that, and we'll let all that get hot. You can see the smoke is just, it's just beautiful. Uh, apple wood, perfect smoke. I can't even see you, where are you? You're back there somewhere? Alrighty, well, we'll be back to get the meat on in just a minute. We are down to the, uh, really just about getting ready to put the meat on. So I'm gonna bleed this first. Remember, the back draft. Do that, like that. Gotta be careful. Throw my gloves on, real quick. Gotta do a little bit of a, just cleaning off the grill a little bit. Get, get it good and hot. That way it falls off from any prior grease or anything. There you go, so that's gone. Okay, that's all cleaned off now, okay, perfect. Okay, now, here's where I begin to take and put the meat on. Okay, first off, this is a six probe meat and internal temperature gauge. Uh, my son, uh, Kevin, and his family got to me for my birthday this year. So this will be my first time using uh, these the six probe. It is phenomenal. So I can be able to take the temperature of six different pieces of meat during the smoke and this is going to be great okay first thing this one will be the internal temp of the grill itself so i gotta be careful no i will have the long uh gloves these are really up to 900 degrees you gotta have this so that you uh don't burn yourself okay so that's in there that's my internal temp there of the grill itself now we'll begin to lay some of the, the meat on and we'll just find some spots here. Oh, fat side up. So you can see that this uh, white here, that's the fat side. That's where you want that to drip down into the meat. And when you flip it over, that's the meat side. So we're gonna just lay all these pieces here and we're gonna get them all on there and keep putting them on. We're gonna have this tip 
be at about, I think, 250 for the smoke temp, followed by, ooh, that burned, and uh, we want to get to an internal temp of about 160. So, here we go. I won't bore you anymore, but that's how you lay it on. You lay the meat on, and uh, we're going to finish up. I'll be right back with you. Oh, got to get my glove off. All the meat's on. I'm going to close the lid and uh, let the smoking begin. Alrighty, guys. Probably about a couple hours, and we'll be done with this uh, bacon, booker, bourbon bacon. I can't see it too much smoke. Exciting all. Yep, I can see you now. All right, signing off. <coughs> it's gonna be awesome, I tell ya. <coughs> Take a look now, open slowly, uh -huh. to see how the bacon is smoking. Oh, that looks good. Look at that great looking bacon. Look at the color. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a great, great smoke here. Let's close it back up and let it continue to smoke. All right, here we go. We are all done. All done. There's the beautiful, beautiful meat, all smoked. Looks delicious. I tell you, everyone, Merry Christmas. Have a great New Year. And one final word is... It's just another day in paradise when we are living the dream.